Hey best friends. So I've been wanting some big curly hair for a while, but I was not about to spend 400 on some big curly bundles. So I decided to do crochet braids. So I braided my hair all the way back. I am not an expert, so bear with me. So what you do is Take your crochet needle, take it up under the braid, as I did, attach the hair to the needle, close the latch, and pull it through. You want to then remove the needle from the hair and put that remaining hair hanging through the loop and pull through and make a knot. Sometimes you can do it twice. So that it can be tight and secure. So this hairdo took me about one and a half hours. I did separate the hair and use smaller pieces so the curls weren't as defined. And I didn't want it to be too thick because I do have a peanut head. And I will be looking crazy out here. I think this is a perfect protective style. It's easy to install and it's easy to remove. And I'm one of those people that get so bored with hairstyles. So I just decided why not do this? I can easily take it out in like two weeks if I'm over it. So I'm just fast forwarding this for you guys because I don't want you watching a hour tutorial. Um, I did space it out because I didn't want it to be that full once again. I did kind of like it long but I felt like it would have been harder to maintain and the purpose of me doing this hairstyle is so I can just get up, shake it, and go. Here's a close-up look of how I did it. And as you can see, the needle is in the braid. I'm attaching the hair to the crochet needle, close the latch, and pull through. It's really not hard, you guys. Once you start getting the hang of it, it's really going to be easy. One, two, three. And you honestly save a lot of money doing this by yourself. People charge, as Africans, they charge at least $200 just to do this. Mind you, this is easy. So imagine how much money you're saving doing this protective style. And I'm using the Janet Mambo Bouncy Curl in 12 inches, and the color is 1B. I didn't want to get jet black because I thought it would have been too shiny, looking too fake and crispy, and I did not want that. Now when I got to the middle of my hair, I did do the knotless method, which you're only going to put half of the hair and knot it. This way, you won't be able to see the knot, it won't be visible, therefore it'll be more natural looking in a way. Now, you do want to go to bed with a bonnet on, or this hair is going to get knotted up and it's not going to look good because this is synthetic. Remember that.
And I did these closer together so that the braid wouldn't be visible. Now it's time to cut and frame your face. And like I said, I wanted mine to be a little shorter just because I wanted it to be more manageable and easier to deal with. I'm looking mad concentrated. Like, girl, I was focused, honey. And that is all guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed and I hope it was easy to understand.